Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we finally get to start with some of the great breakfast food. And of course we're starting off Gilmore Girls breakfast with pancakes from Luke's. Pancakes are not a new concept to me. I make them all the time for my family. For some crazy reason I've been buying pancake mix all these years. And looking at the list of ingredients, they really are so simple just to put together. So I think after this I'll be ditching my pancake mix and just going with scratch recipes from now on. Um, the difference between what I usually do and what this is doing besides the mix is that I usually use a griddle and this is asking for a frying pan on the stove which is what I am going to attempt doing today. So without further ado, let's make some pancakes. Okay, to begin we gotta measure the dry ingredients. We're gonna put them in this bowl and then we'll put the wet ingredients in here and combine them into here. Whenever I make pancakes, I usually like to use a big mixing bowl because it has a great spout for pouring pancakes. We're gonna start with our flour. I know it's slightly off camera. It's this big white thing right here. Need two cups of flour. And two. One and a half teaspoons of salt. teaspoons of baking powder. get a fork, blend it together. And now we're going to put the wet ingredients in here. We'll start with two eggs. tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to take it from my sugar bowl because I don't need to get the whole canister of two tablespoons. Two cups of buttermilk. Mm -hmm. A third of a cup of whole milk. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, take my whisk and blend that together pretty good. That's all blended together. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. As a rule of thumb for pancakes, the thinner the batter, the thinner the pancakes. If you like fluffy pancakes, put more dry ingredients. If you like them thinner, do less. I'm going to do the whole thing because I want to see what this recipe makes. Doesn't have to be completely smooth. We'll just pretty much get most of the big lumps out of it. 
And a whisk is great for it. Scrape off some extra batter off with a whisk. And that looks ready to go. I got my cute little kitty cat spatula to help me turn my pancakes. I like to put a plate underneath my batter bowl so the drippings go in the plate and all over my stove. Alright. My stove gets hot. So the book says medium to high heat, but I don't think it needs to be that hot. At least for me. It always takes a trial pancake or two. It also says to use vegetable oil, a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Of course, as you just saw, I'm just spraying the pan. There's already some oil in it. I just sprayed a little bit more. I like to make my pancakes somewhat smaller. This recipe says six to eight pancakes, but given the size of the batter bowl and how much batter, they're supposed to be pretty large pancakes. And I don't trust my pancake turning skills enough to do them huge. So let's start with number one. It's a nice fluffy batter. Let it cook. That's a good temperature. And we're waiting to see bubbles come up on top. This batter looks like it's going to make some nice fluffy pancakes. Pretty thick pancakes. They're not even bubbling up. A little bit around the edges. Not quite yet. Let's try to get some bubbles on top. Okay, we finally got some bubbles coming up to the surface. I don't want to burn the bottom, so... Okay. It's got good color to it, don't you think? I think so. It's a successful pancake, I do believe. It does say to keep a plate in the oven, keep it warm so you can make more pancakes and serve them all at once. But in my house, you eat them as they come off the pan. So that's what we're doing today. We're just going to make them and eat the ones we're going to eat. All right, so that looks like a successful pancake to me. Yay! Okay, here's my pancake. I think it turned out pretty good. It smells really good. I'm going to put some syrup on it because that's how I eat my pancakes and take a bite. Okay. I just take a little bit of syrup on my pancakes. That's all I need. I don't like them too sweet. My son likes to drown them in syrup. Oh, the outside is pretty crispy. Let's try this. It's delicious. I do believe this is my new go-to pancake mix, so I appreciate Eat like a gear more for sharing this recipe because it's perfect. And I'm going to be sharing more recipes with you all. So don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. And let me know in the comments how you like your pancakes. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.